plaintiff, Patricia Pascal, says she was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and the defendant, who's her niece and namesake, is well aware of her medical condition. Patricia's suing because the defendant agreed to buy a computer from her, but she has yet to see a dime. Defendant Patricia Montgomery says she loves her aunt, but she disrespected her by claiming Patricia's daughter had a disability simply because she was born with albinism. Patricia insists the computer was a gift. Tell me what happened. Uh, the defendant is my niece. She's my namesake. She was actually named after me. Um, last year, April 9th, 2010, I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Mm, sorry to hear that. Uh, and little Patricia is well aware of my medical condition. Yet I'm here today because she have lied and stole from me. I was given to this year, April, for life. But God has saw fit to extend that time. And she... What type of cancer day, are you afflicted with? Stage four ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. In December, I purchased a laptop uh, to take to the hospital with me. But in the process of that, around January, little Patricia called me. And I've watched your show. And you used the term dry begging. Well, little Patricia called me and she was telling me how she was getting ready to go to start school and that she didn't have a computer. That she, she didn't needed. ask you directly. Right. This she dry big. Right. Oh. That's not true, Your Honor. Can I address the situation? No, let her finish okay. first. And I wouldn't, as she was going on, I just cut her off. And I told her, I said, you know what, Patricia, this is your lucky day. I already bought a laptop. It's still in the pack. I just bought it last month. And I told her she can come over to get it. When she got to my house, I, I told first, I told her it wasn't a gift that she was going to have to pay me. Mm -hmm. And I asked her how much she could afford. She sat in my living room across from me, looked me dead in my eye and said, I'll give you two hundred dollars every payday. I said, that's only that three. That is not true, Your Honor. Can I ask only finish. three no, you payments? You're be quiet. Go ahead. Only three payments. I said, you sure? She said, yes, Auntie. I make good money on my job. So I tr I believe I trusted her. Six hundred dollars was the total amount for the computer or laptop. It was. It's got taxes in there, but I no, just but I I'm just saying, said I thought you my kids been tricking me. No, <laughs> no. What happened? I, I bought it's it in December. Yeah, they've been getting fifteen hundred, two thousand out of me. <laughs> but they need a laptop. They only cost six hundred. I got it on sale. I purchased it there on sale. There ain't that much sale in the world. Yes, I from I have, 1800 to I have 600 a receipt. I have a receipt. My point is, is that what laptops cost? Only no, 600 it's more than, they're more than that, but I did oh, purchase it on sale. Well, you, that was hot. No, I bought it from Best Buy. <laughs> oh, you bought it from Best Buy? Yes, oh, sir. All right, let no. me see what you have. Now, Patricia Pascal is terminally ill with cancer, but despite her medical condition, the defendant, who happens to be her niece, refuses to pay her for a computer. Let me hear from you, young lady. Okay, hi, Your Honor. I'd like to start from the beginning if I can. Mm -hmm. I love my auntie and I will never disrespect her, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to let her sit up here and take advantage of me. Mm -hmm. And she's disrespecting me, harassed me from something that she all started that she know is not How honest. has she disrespected you? She's disrespecting my daughter who was born with albinism less in 2009 and tries to say she had a disability. How many people also provoke so I could come out there and make a scene and act like the person that I'm not. I'm not going to let I was because I wasn't feeding mm -hmm. into the negativity that she was trying to bring towards mm -hmm. my family. Okay. I did not call her asking her for the computer or mm -hmm. any sort. I have my, I do work and I go to school full time. No, you was about to say I have my own job. I work. Own, so I, I'm, cap I'm capable of buying okay. a laptop on my own. Okay. So I went out there be, and I picked up a gift from my uncle. This was around Christmas. So also at the same time, she like, I knew you wasn't going to get the computer. Here you go. I gave it to you because at the same time, she had just won a lawsuit. I never asked her for anything. And she was buying other people things. So I guess this was her way to show like, here's Christmas here. You can have this laptop, not true. which okay, I, I have no reason to lie to you, my mm -hmm. honor. This is exactly what happened. So she told, so I'm like, okay, well, thank you. I'm uh, whatever. So months pass. Like I talk to her every now and then, but it gave me to her about February, the end of February. 
beginning of March when she called me telling me how she had ran through her money because she was buying people things and sending um, that tickets. That is not true. Hold on, man. Sending tickets to she people. She says she has no reason to lie. Yes, I do not Go have. Go ahead. And I okay. hope I don't catch her in a lie. No, you Go won't. Ahead. Trust me. Good enough. Go okay. Ahead. She was mm-hmm. buying. Um, the people who she did do things for her came, approached her. And mm-hmm. I guess since it was Christmas, she just thought she was doing me a nice thing until February. She ran through all of it. So then she come back and say, what? Yes, Give me $600? Yes, because she knew. She knew what did you tell her? A lot of people in our family. Uh, all that is fine. What did you tell her when she asked for her money? I told, no, she didn't ask for her money. She told me, Patricia, um, I'm going through a lot. Like, I would appreciate it. Like, if you can help me, give me some money because she know I had got my income oh, taxes. Give you some, give, yes, right. What did you give tell her? her? And I told her, honestly, Auntie Pat, what you gave me was a gift. And what did they, hold on. No, 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 no. Slow down. <laughs> they had nothing to do with each other, I thought. How did you get back to the conversation on the laptop if when she called asking for money, it had nothing to do with the laptop? No, during the conversation when she asked me uh-huh. about the laps about the money, she told me, "Well, could you give me?" She like, "I bought you a laptop in December. Could you give me some money?" Like, I, I bought you her? a laptop in December. Like so can you give me some money? Yeah, basically, she called me and left me a voicemail saying, "Cause she, I do her a favor." Those were her exact words. I did you a favor. Now, can you do me a favor? Oh, I don't. That's not what you said a minute ago. <laughs> That's you what said. I, you spoke to her. Yes, and you she know, kept, I know. Yes, you're a liar. What do you have, man? I have text messages that will show you that she knew it was not a gift, that she even said that I was like a mother to her, that she she even stated that in the text messages that she wasn't going to pay me back because she wanted to pay her other bills. She wasn't going to take no, me sued by some other company. I understood it wasn't a gift, and I will pay you as soon as I can. No, that you're the worst kind of young lady. I hope you change your ways before you come out of school, liar. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have Thank a good day. You know I love you, and I cannot believe that you will stand here and continue to lie. It ain't worth that. It really ain't worth it. Um, first of all, I know she knows the truth and regardless of whatever the tears that she have, regardless, God don't like ugly. She's That's supposed right. to be a person of God. But she had words to say about my daughter. I don't have anything to I've do with her. I've never talked after, about your child. After this day, she knows she could sit here and cry and do whatever. But after this day, whatever, this is all for show. This whole thing. So she That could, is so sad that okay. you think that. So thank you. Have a nice life. I still love you, Patricia. Okay. And I do hope you have a wonderful life. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh.